today on Candid Conversations with me is Prerna Singh. She is the CEO at uh, Bansali Productions. Uh, Prerna, welcome to the show. Um, and uh, at the beginning, I'm going to start off by talking about the most immediate thing. Did you really expect the kind of reaction which uh, Nangubai Kathiawadi got? I mean, in theaters, on OTT, from critics, from the audience. Hi, Kabir. First, first of all, thank you uh, for bringing me on the show. Uh, yes, uh, you know, I might sound a little pompous right now and whatever, but the feeling has always been overwhelming. You know, uh, we are a pure content, uh, pure scripts, you know, original idea. That's the thing that we proclaim all about. And of course, under the leadership of SLB, that's one thing we always feel proud about. He's a man of nuances. He's, he's, he's a man of ideas. He knows how to treat what, and you know, and he's extremely passionate maker. So whatever he makes, you know, whatever he has made till now, we know what it delivers and how it delivers. Um, this was, a, you know, when we released our first poster, uh, of course, this film was made in an era we started our journey. The, when the film went on floor, there was no sign. There was nothing of COVID, which we knew. The film went on floor in December 2019. Uh, Three years. Yeah. yeah. The journey has been. We got, of course, COVID came in Feb and March. That, that time as well, we did not know the intensity, you know, that till how long it's going to be there. And we are a very positive uh, bunch of people. So we thought, oh, it's all temporary. And, you know, we all believe we had a huge set. Entire Kamathi Pura was created um, at uh, Film City. So we thought, okay, it's, it's a very temporary, you know, in a, in a month's time or something, it, this will all get over. So we were all trying to be positive and, and then suddenly this intensity started catching up. When this, uh, our poster came first, you know, it was in the pre-COVID when we went on floor, we announced uh, that, you know, Gangubai is on floor and this is what the look of Alia is. When the poster came out, that's when we got that confidence. And though it was, you know, like uh, people used to think it's, it's a women's film and whatever, but at the end of the day, the key headline is it is SLB's next after all the three big films that he has delivered at box office. And when that, that iconic poster came, uh, that's when I got calls from all the exhibitors and, and everyone saying, okay, this is a truly SLB's next. And, you know, from then our confidence started coming in that, of course, this is going to be a big film. Mm. And rest, you know, after that, we don't keep thinking whether it's a big film, small film, this is what SLB always prophesies that, you know, just keep working, keep working, keep making, and things will turn out. But the next milestone was when this entire, you know, COVID was little slowing down and just before the uh, second wave. And we thought, we thought that, you know, let us announce our release date. So we wanted to do it slightly differently. And we thought that, you know, the world is opening up. So, and the production, of course, with all, you know, like I said, with full, uh, positivity and everything. He was on the floor shooting. There was immense uh, support from the key talent and everyone and from our studio. Nevertheless, God's blessing. So we came up with a teaser to announce the film and the release date was also announced. When the teaser came, that's the time, like the phone started buzzing, like how they said, okay, whatever poster you gave, poster ke baad jo aapne teaser diya, ye to film abhi blockbuster hai. And that's when our confidence was rekindled further that now we are making something special. And then from, from there on, you know, Kabir, the film has only given us, given us and all SLB's best effort and, you know, creating those things uh, differently. The film came in theaters. We released the film against all odds. We, uh, we were the first one when, when the third wave uh, you know, when theaters started opening, we were the first one to decide that, you know, let us not wait anymore because for three years we have been waiting. Uh, there, were, there were many other factors which was just mounting to the overall uh, budget of the film. Our studio also cooperated a lot in this decision. So what we did is, you know, if we were sitting on a great product, 
Are we very confident about it? So there was some inner conscious call that, you know, if it is a big film, it's been mounted so well, we have come out with a teaser. Now is the time to just give the trailer and trailer is the deciding factor for, you know, the people to say that, okay, this is a film I want to go and watch. And also having said that, I can say, and you will also know, and everyone uh, knows that people do wait for SLV. Uh, yeah, film. Most certainly, yeah. So with that confidence and this idea again came from SLB and he said, Prerna, uh, you are with me. And if the studio is with me, let's go and announce and let's go in the theater. People will come. Rest is history. Our Saturday numbers further grew. Our Sunday numbers further grew. And we did, did so well as far as Indian box office is concerned. Just not in India, but even in overseas. Talking about the overseas release, what I read about uh, Nangubai was that uh, surprisingly, the film did very well in uh, Thailand. Okay, now yes. that probably, I think one of the reasons is, of course, uh, because of the uh, sex work industry, which is over there, it really struck uh, struck a chord with the people over there. So, so what kind Thailand of is a did you story get from I can, Yeah, so Thailand is a story I can tell you. Uh, our partner, Netflix, all of us were, were at a different level. A lot of people resonated with Gangubai. You know, a lot of UGC content was created and a lot of iconic scenes from the film were created. It has gone at another uh, level, uh, you know, as far as uh, Thailand is, is concerned. In fact, uh, today people are saying that even if we further go ahead and release the film, it will still do very, very well. So it's good for India, I would say that, you know, Indian films. We, he goes and paves the path and the others can follow if the content is good. <laughs> and I mean, this is... I mean, definitely. And, as of right now, it's known as Alia's uh, best uh, performance till date. For for I mean, without a doubt, the kind of performance that Alia has given under his direction, uh, yes. it's very critically acclaimed. Uh, the audience has acclaimed it and all. But what are the? I mean, moving forward, moving forward from Gangu by now, what are the pipeline of movies which uh, uh, SLB has to offer in 2022, 2023? What do we look forward? To? See, right now, as you must have read. Uh, are all energies on uh, are on Hira Mandi. Uh, it's a series again for Netflix. The uh, the idea has been there with SLB for a really long time. So he is uh, he's busy with that. As far as our further uh, you know work is concerned, we are still working on that. Too early for me to say anything on that. But yes, we will. We are here to create stories, and we will. Uh, bring to you something really interesting, something really big, but we need some time. At this point in time, I'll not be able to comment. Okay, so right now, right now you're tight-lipped about it. You can't talk about it, fair enough. But my last, last uh, question really, which I was interested to know was, you're the CEO of Bansali Productions. What is a day like for the CEO of Bansali Productions? What does it uh, entail? Very inspiring, very dynamic, and very evolving at every stage. So the best part, about being CEO at Bansali Productions is none of the day is mundane for me. Every day is a new story. <laughs> I have a very exciting day from, uh, you know, I, I get, because SLB believes that, you know, I have, a, I, have a, I have a good sense of story and script. So from giving my two bit there to managing uh, the floor to everything, to managing the business. So, you know, he, he has given me that opportunity to look at the holistic uh, uh, thing from creative to business. So, so it, it's a great role for me here. Okay, so nice. I mean, interesting job profile. You look forward to it, which is great. But it was nice talking to you, Prerna. And I hope next time we uh, can also probably get Sanjalila Bansali on the show uh, with, with him uh, talking about his experiences and all. Uh, along sure. with you, that will be interesting. So let's let's probably look forward to that. Uh, shoot it at your studio or via Zoom, whatever. But uh, thanks a lot for talking to us and uh, all the best for the future. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kabir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.